Now you can also set up your viewports in your layout tab as well. Now I've got my four views here, plan, side, section, cutaway. I've also got my named views in there as well. My cutaway, plan, section, and side view. So they're all there in the view manager. I'll just hit escape there to lose that for the moment. If I now go to the A3 plate details landscape tab here, you'll see that there's already some viewports in there. I'm actually going to select both of those and delete them like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place a group of four equal viewports, but I'm going to place a view in each viewport. So what I do is I type viewports again, like so, and press enter. Same process. I want four equal viewports, but I get an option for viewport spacing this time. Let's say we'll have 3.5 millimeters between each viewport. Setup will be 2D, change view to current. Now what I can do here, click in each one again. So I want my plan view in there, I want my side view in there, like I did before, click on each view and then change view to. So that'll be section and that'll be cutaway there. So I then click on OK. It now prompts me specify first corner. Now to avoid my title block, I'm going to utilize my object snaps. So I'm going to go endpoint there, click, drag it up here to specify the space where the viewports are going to fit. Up to this corner of the title border here, click, there's my four viewports with plan, side, section, cutaway. Now, if I double click inside these viewports, they're not at exact scales. So I would need to update the scales there. So you'll see the plan view there, look, it's at 1.374416, not an exact scale. So I would need to go, let's say, one to one. Now, obviously, you can see parts of the other bits of model space there. There's nothing to stop you panning, as long as you don't zoom and muck up the viewport scale. Go there, double click outside the viewport now. Now, notice I go to the next viewport, so I need to double click out here. I click on the viewport, click on the grip, and just resolve that like that. Hit escape to deselect. So I can do that with any of these because none of these are to scale. It's done a zoom extents on each of the views. But if you've got a hundred different views set up on a drawing, it's great because you can pick a named view, drop it straight into a new viewport, just like that. So that's how you set up your viewports in a standardized fashion in your layout tabs using AutoCAD Mechanical 2010.